for some reason, you're listening to Hypothetically. Enjoy. All right, welcome back. Episode 14 of Hypothetically. We got a great guest, Zach Russell. Thanks for joining us. I'm a fan of the pod. I was listening to it earlier and I was laughing. Yeah, fan and, of the pod uh, since today. Early fan of the pod. Hello. Yeah. Sorry, this is my <laughs> my headphone broke immediately before the episode began. So I will be taking another call. I'll do, be doing another pod through this. I think you I could do that bit many times before it got old. Hello? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, comedy? They didn't like that, Nick. <laughs> That's um, Charles's thing. I know. Charles has a lot of great go-to little riffs. For the listeners, this is another comedian who we did not invite on the podcast, but I feel like we uh, we basically just used all of his good stuff, so I think uh, <laughs> we don't need him. Yeah. No, he's 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 a very funny fellow. Oh, wait. Are you guys comfortable around each other yet? Because you don't know each other. Nathan, say something no, mean I'm about I'm still Zach. worried Nathan's going to show me his dick. Yeah, that's... <sighs> I mean, is that a, a problem concern. with guests? I, 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 I pretext every guest. Like, Nathan will not show you his dick, and nobody believes me. I mean, <laughs> I think it's a vibe you give off. What is it about me that gives you that vibe? <sighs> Your well, beard? if you look at you versus Nick, I mean, Nick looks like a, a red-faced, blue-collar worker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Thank you me. look like you've never left the room yeah, you're in. The room, yeah. <laughs> is it the uh, facial hair or the lack of any decoration? No, no, I, you just me. look very pale right now. And, oh, oh, that's true. The lack of art is also... Uh, Everyone uh, always uh, brings it up. Every yeah, your, yeah. your skin does exactly match the wall. The only color in that room is the wine you're drinking. And, and I guess your shirt. Well, right. we don't know it's wine. It could be blood. <laughs> that's true. It could be blood. <laughs> question. Have you guys seen Kill Bill? Yes. Horrible okay. question. Very boring. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Nice question. Not hypothetical oh, uh, at all. Yeah. <laughs> next okay. question what are you doing for the next two hours <laughs> so in kill bill this part two William a... William <laughs> did you guys catch that yeah 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 all right cool cool uh kill bill part two volume two actually there's a scene at the end of it where the person there's like a special punch they have and it's like what it's like the most deadly punch or whatever and once they walk five steps yeah uh their heart explodes mm-hmm. um and my question is why do you think that guy, like he chose to die, but he could have just like been in a wheelchair or done anything that wasn't moving five steps and not have died. I do remember that. He just starts stepping. So he's like, really good job and just walks until he dies. <laughs> yeah. Right until he dies. There's so many alternatives. No, if it was me, I would have been like, okay, I'm calling an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a limit to how far you can crawl? No, Ooh. it's just five. Yeah, it's just, it's just five, five steps. Walking steps. Five yeah. walking you can steps. do whatever you want. Yeah. And you can on also hop on one foot. Yeah, hop on. Yeah, yeah. On your knees. <laughs> well, no, you can hop 10 times on one right. foot. Right. Yeah. <laughs> does a pivot count, you think? Oh, you think it's like basketball rules? Yeah, yeah maybe like not. A, Pivot's not yeah. traveling. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like if you a light pivot, I think you're probably What are you going to do with gonna... a pivot? How are you going to how are you going to pivot to safety? Well, you pivot one leg and then you just Oh shit. <laughs> 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 this was a too, this was too physical of, uh... Nathan, you only have four more steps till you die. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. So I mean Nathan, you... Nathan, Nathan, that looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's just your I forehead. Am... We're looking at your ceiling. Ball. Yeah, this sure. seems like the view of what you probably see all day, just staring up at your ceiling until uh, <laughs> until the podcast starts. He's basically in a cryogenic sleep yeah. <laughs> until hypothetically. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying, Nathan? It's your, which is not what you would be travel. No, I think like, dragging your foot's a problem. Nonetheless, like worst case scenario, you just can't walk anymore. Like you just have to be in a wheelchair, but that's like so not that bad relative to your heart exploding. And yeah, does it, it last like years? Like yeah, I got punched in the chest condition? 15 years ago? <laughs> Do you still get four steps? And I assume it doesn't matter if they're sequential or not. So could you just like wait to like big moments to take your single like one step? You yeah. could walk your daughter down a very <laughs> small part of the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the most important steps of your yeah, life. Just you the last, yeah. Reserve for it. I think I would be skeptical of that. That's what happens. I mean, this guy wasn't, but if somebody was like, you have five steps to actually did, did she explain it to him? Yeah. And if she did, why did she do that? They give him a pamphlet. You've just yeah. been punched. Yeah. Yeah, and they, <laughs> There's like, like, like pictures what? and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they call the most like deadly attack. And it's like, it feels like if they know how the attack works, it's actually not deadly at all. It's not no. Have perfect. they ever heard of like a, like just a regular punch, like a really hard yeah. punch? Mm-hmm. Some of those knife? you get no steps. Yeah, you just like, or like brass knuckles or something. Yeah, or and they have guns. they have knives and guns in the world. They use them in earlier. Scenes. They have swords, right? Yeah, they fucking they katanas. Swords. And she's like, no, the katana is not as deadly as my <laughs> punch with weird rules. Like not to nitpick, but you guys were saying like, oh, what's the most deadly punch? And then you said knife. Knife is not a punch. Just no, if you are they, boxing. They said deadly attack. I feel like a little revisionist history. Did they really say that? 
I have no idea. Saying. I'm lying. I haven't seen it in like five yeah. years. That yeah, Nathan. Fun. I don't think you've seen anything in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been that weird angle in your room. A, a tray just comes under your door with your food. <laughs> and then poop comes out the other. You slide it out on a different tray on the same I, tray. The same tray. We're, um, we're not wasting tray. That's twice as much tray to wash. Think about yeah, it. they wash it once a week. It makes the first day's food much more pleasant than the last day's food. But, you know, environment. What was Practice? the question? It was about why would Bill from Kill Bill take the five steps after getting punched? Oh, because it's called Kill Bill and he's <laughs> Bill. So you think they got to part two and he's like, oh, I mean, we're in volume two of killing a, me. So I got to. He's like, I failed volume one. I got to do it yeah. this time. <laughs> yeah. I was such a pussy. Just like it didn't, didn't want to be in a trilogy. Like he just didn't want to do a third movie. He was like, I'm not that into this series. But what am I, John step. Wick? <laughs> Uh, so did, well, also, what if the punch hurt really bad? He's like, oh, oh, I want this to end. I don't think it hurt at all. I think it was actually, I think it was like a, like a, like a, you know, when you punch your friend in the, the arm, you're like, hey, bud. Did he do anything on the way out? Like he's walking, his flips are off. Talk- uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the one, two, three, four. And then he fake comes with the dick and then he dies. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, what the fuck? Do you think there's a chance it's just like a placebo effect thing? Like they all just convinced everybody that... <laughs> You die after five steps, so they have a heart attack. But actually, it's like, yeah, it's just a regular punch. The first guy that did that was just shit talk, and you're totally, totally fine. <laughs> yeah, how do you I'm practice that? How do you get good? I mean, you couldn't like get... punch a block of wood and then see if it has a heart attack in five. I think you, know? you nearly kill a lot of people, and then once you finally do, mm-hmm. they're like, you're ready. Since it doesn't hurt that bad, I think you can just do it to people. Like, oh, hey, bud, and just keep doing that. Why are you assuming wait? it doesn't hurt that bad? It didn't Is look it? like it hurt that bad. It okay, but so again, fine. this is your perception. <laughs> yeah. like, I want to talk to Bill. Okay. Bill on, how much budget do you guys have? Dude, Bill could have gotten so famous if he had written a book or so like went on put like a bunch of interviews like yeah i've been punched i have three steps left this is my story i would honestly watch that movie when you were describing like choosing the one step that's most important to you <laughs> I was oh like, that'd be beautiful i'm, I'm immediately watching jason statham play that guy <laughs> So what if mm-hmm. you were trapped in a painting, but it's not nailed to the wall? So you can move around, you can live your normal life, but your head is bound within a painting. You can pick the painting. I mean, your eyes would... are like this in the painting, and your nose is sticking out so you can smell, and you can uh, your lips are out. But I can talk. You can talk. I would not say the N-word, even though I could talk, just so everyone's clear. But if you were oh, a good. painting of a black guy. <laughs> that's such a good question. God damn. <laughs> I would ask other people in the community what they thought about my situation. Well, Nick, there's a good question. They can still see your nose. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you failed. Shit. <laughs> Nathan, would you say the N-word? Will you no. say it right now so we know what it sounds like when you say it? No, I wouldn't. Will you say I'm it just so I know of... what it is? Just yeah, what is the word? <laughs> Do no you have to get gonna... someone to carry you around? Do you have the rest of your body? Yeah, yeah. You're, ju- you're just, your, your face is trapped in a painting. So I just have a frame around my head? Or you were in some sort of art accident. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I was yeah. just a portrait who could wiggle. <laughs> no, um, you can have a fulfilling sex life. It would be difficult to go down on someone unless they're very flexible. It wouldn't be that. I mean, yeah, there's the frame. But... The frame. They got to put their legs really far <laughs> wide. If they take off the frame, will I roll up because I'm a piece of paper? You'll die. Oh, wow. It's like a oh, curse. I... So it's like a space helmet. Like I'm in painting space. And if someone pokes the painting, like if someone threw a pencil, it would bleed. Oh, Ew. God, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just what it is. And then because it's a painting, the blood just, st- I, I can't like get it off. It actually makes it look cooler. You could be going down on someone as the guy from American Gothic. If you want, holding the that would be, fork. I want to be Mona Lisa and they'd be like, so are you smiling? And I'd be like, what would I say? I don't fucking know. I would just keep eating them out. I mean, Halloween would be kind of lame because you have one costume. It would I be other than- guy with painting head. That would be yeah. a costume. <laughs> but if I picked like Starry Night, would I have to paint my face with the rest of it? Or would my... Would my face color match the picture behind me? I think you only know Starry Night. Do you know any other paint? Say another painting. <sighs> what do you think the number one question you, like, you know how people ask tall people if they play basketball? What do you think would be the number one thing you'd get? Do you think it's do you play I, basketball? No, unless it's a painting of a tall guy. <laughs> True. <laughs> if it was a painting of a basketball player, that'd probably be the second question. There wasn't like a Mario game that he jumped into paintings? Was it like the whole? Yeah, yeah, but his whole body jumped in and he could jump out. So it was an yeah. easier situation. If he got really fat, you only get the head through. I guess that would be the exact thing. Maybe that would be the number one question. People would be like, did you play Mario 64? You're like, no, 
No. <laughs> I think dating would be tough. As a, as having a painting head, you'd have to go to like paintingsonly.com. You could take your, your like profile picture so it was zoomed in enough where they just saw your face and they'd show up and be like, you don't look like your profile. And you're like, I look exactly like my profile. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a filter. No. <laughs> So as I got older, would my would the painting get like saggy like my skin would? Or your head it... lives forever. It's just your body decays under you. I mean, you know, if people stuff. are spraying it with that stuff. Well, in the Cursed of Dorian Gray, the painting ages, but he doesn't. The painting ages know. for him. I don't know what you're saying. But that's the Cursed of Dorian Gray? Premises is this a reference that... I'm supposed to know? No, it's my own made-up story <laughs> oh, <you're> just... <laughs> oh. that I'm referencing. You guys didn't get the manuscript I sent you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, fine. We don't need to talk about the Cursed of Dorian Gray. Dude, Next episode's all going to be Curse of Dorian Gray stuff. <laughs> it better be, because you'll be fascinated. Do you think you'd be able to fuck paintings if you had a painting head? I think you can already With fuck your paintings. Face. Yeah, I don't think there's any. No one's going to think anybody can fuck Thanks, paintings. Thanks, guys. Yeah. yeah. This podcast was just what I needed. Are you asking <laughs> for like a friend or is it? I'm asking for permission. <laughs> <laughs> I have some pretty sweet numbers at the moment. I've got my eye on. I'd like to start so spitting at my dick. <laughs> yeah, every time you hold up the... Th they're like, I don't like how he talks. So you're like 50 <laughs> like i don't like how he says numbers <laughs> yeah, he wants this painting too badly hey it's an auction Shut up. Thousands. <laughs> um so 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 your head is flat right no you said your nose. nose sticks out that's it though. it does but your cheeks don't trust don't. your nose your nose and your mouth and your ears maybe on the sides of the so, frame so like i don't experience when i go outside the only thing i feel is the wind on my nose and of course the environment uh of the painting. But so you appreciate you, that wind on your nose more. Because <laughs> you're in a painting of a desert. Jeez. So it's just dry and hot all the time. Yeah. Except for your nose, which is sometimes cool. freezing. Yeah. <laughs> There's a gust of wind because you have no mass. You're just... <laughs> <laughs> you're getting sand in your eyes all the time. Yeah. God, I hate living in a desert. Why'd I pick desert? Why did you pick desert, Nathan? Well, I don't... You, I you, pick you picked desert. Nope, no, we established that. Oh, I'm stuck with that one. Yeah, we're yes anding. Why did you pick well, yeah, desert? I mean, you picked it. It's dry. Do you want to be wet forever? Like, even if you had just like a drip of water right here, that's forever. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be a painting of like a kind of, like a starting to sweat man. <laughs> yeah, you're glowing. <laughs> yeah, you can't, it's always there. <laughs> and because the painting is never really changing, just at some point, everybody will notice every little thing about it. Yeah, do you have like a fly every... on your nose? Yeah. <laughs> Always? Do you think people would consider you a butterface? You got a hot bod, but your face is a painting. Would they still well, use that term or would they come up with a new one? No, for just I think you? they would say disabled. <laughs> You'd probably get a good parking spot. Why? Because <laughs> your face you is that? a painting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard out there. You can't deal with a long parking lot walk. I bet you would have trouble getting through TSA, but they wouldn't be able to explain why. They'd be like, we have to search you more. And you're like, why? And they're like, because your face is a painting. And they're like, well, how does that make me a terrorist? They're like, I don't know, but we got to look into that. I mean, that's nope. crazy. What about the Marilyn Monroe? I, I would be the one of her getting her skirt blown up. And then people wouldn't want to talk to me, I don't think. Your eyes would be right where the grate is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they'd be like, can you see up her skirt? Like in the universe you're in? I'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd be like, no, I, no, I actually can't. I just thought it, it was a funny bit. I just thought it was funny. Are you guys following all this uh, Russia-Ukraine stuff? So you know how it's it's like NATO is big in this? My well, question is, is I NATO short for Nathan? <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> and, um, you know, how is that affecting geopolitics? What does that mean? What the fuck? What does that mean? Like how NATO is short for Nathan? No, no, I, I understand. NATO. I understand the shortening of words. So my what's question the, is, yeah, is NATO short for Nathan? It isn't. It's not. No, yeah, that's the answer. It is not <laughs> short for that's NATO is short for not Nathan. I don't know what it is short for, but it's not, I think an acronym, it's not Nathan. They're not, that's is not even how you abbreviate words. Is Nathan not an acronym? For what? I, I'm asking you. It's not my name. No, I, I you end the question. When when you ask a question, you don't also have the answer. That's why you ask questions. No, Is you ask NATO how would... short <laughs> for Nathan. That's my question. And how would that impact Putin? Yeah, Zach, how would that impact the geopolitical situation? If you were worried the border border between me and Russia just got small. So if you're the, saying it is if you. The border you did... got smaller. Yeah, I would the border. Yeah. <laughs> the border. So what would happen, Zach? If the border uh, between Russia just got a little too close. Yeah, I can feel their breath on my neck. I'm not Russia comfortable. Russia got a little too close. And yeah. NATO is short. Nathan. <laughs> for Nathan. For Nathan. Nathan. Yeah. I think we should. And, oh, also, this is the most important thing. I'm going to cut yeah. you off right here. This is the most important thing about this world. I pronounce my name Nathan. 
in this world. If uh, Russia was hinging on uh, me. Ukraine's sovereign, yeah. uh, and NATO was short for Nathan. And my name was Nathan. And, and your name NATO. was Nathan. I think you, as an individual, and you alone, <laughs> yeah. would be called upon <laughs> to force Russia back into the wintry <laughs> woods from whence they came and free Kiev. Which has I been done before, by the way. It's doable, usually by countries, but we think you got it. Yeah, and this guy <laughs> named Paul really helped him out one year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't think you'd bring any assistance? I am the only thing between you can the wrangle Western up some free... other Nathan. Yeah, dude, it's yeah, it's oh, just it's whoever you of... can get. It's like a bringer war. A the fucking... bringer. <laughs> no, no, that you know that like old Coke commercial where it's just a line of people around the world holding hands. Oh, like us? Yeah, like us. Like the ending yeah. of it's just the ending of us. Like yeah, but they're all goes... Nathan and yeah. they're all anti-Russia. Yeah, we go. We stand on the border of Ukraine. Just yeah, it's all the capital. It's hands. all the capitalist. Nathans <laughs> against all of the communist Nathans, uh-huh. of which there are some. Oh, I think we could crush the communist Nathan because that actually Rover. sounds like a Russian name a little bit. Nathan. No, I mean it. It doesn't. But... Would you ever consider Nathan instead of uh, as, as a nickname going by Nath? <laughs> <laughs> Nate. Is that hard H into nothing? Nate. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> just get the. I'm. I have a list. So I just get to the part that I can't do and then just yeah, give up. They would up. just think you were saying Nate, but you know, you're gay. You couldn't. That's offensive, guys. Sorry, Nick. I shouldn't have told you to say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zach texted me. <laughs> follow me. I got a funny I one. slacked him. Yeah. Even before that whole question, he sent me like, hey, work say this in. verbatim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About your gay brother. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be so good for the pod. We go back to like the original question or something. Oh yeah, yeah. It was what if yeah, yeah. NATO was short for Nathan? And, and how does that impact geopolitics? We would lose me versus all of Russia. I don't think we would. Yeah. I just like got back into running, you know, like I, but I, I really can only do like a mile, a mile and a half. I don't That's, think I'm beating the entire Russian really, military. You're too out of shape to beat the entire <laughs> Russian military. Yeah, even I mean, if I can get like two or three miles, we could like start. That's like a starting place. We could like get somewhere, but like a mile, I have like rheumatoid arthritis. Like I don't. I've only heard you say rheumatoid once, but I have a sneaking suspicion that you say it differently every time you attempt it. I do. I practice too. I sit in the mirror and just say rheumatoid. In case Sometimes do you accidentally say Ramadan arthritis? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I say Ramadan. Ramadan arthritis. I say Ram- I say Ramadan, Rambo, just any Ramstein any R-word. arthritis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I go through Very all strong words. German arthritis. Yeah. <laughs> we did way better with that question than I was anticipating, as it was a pun that I thought of earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any more for that? Yeah. Do you guys want to hear the question again? Would that help? Yeah. Okay. It's what if NATO NATO was short for Nathan? Yeah, I'm done. I was watching the Olympics and male figure skaters can throw women so far. Do you think they use that in like their day to day? (laughs) Dude, male figure skaters can really hurt female figure skaters. I mean, I noticed that. Yeah. No, no, they didn't hurt. Just throw them. They... They land on their feet every time. Do you? I'm just asking. Do you think they use that like ability to just take around a hundred, one ten person and chuck them like ten yards while ice skating? I mean, on imagine what they could do on dry land. Like, what I'd do like you, to see them at a bar. Yeah. Like, drunk. what do you think they? What do you think they do with that? I know, I do. I'd like to see them at home with their wives. That would be yeah. uh, <laughs> drunk. Drunk. Yeah. No, I'm not saying they don't have to do. Goddamn, they don't have to do it like offensively. Like, if someone's like, I got some bags of potatoes to throw, they'd be like, I got it. This is exactly what I made for. The thing about beating figure skaters, though, if they're your wife, is they always land on their feet, so it's okay. Yeah, even if they don't, they play it off like they did. (laughs) Boy, points, yeah. Well, that was a very graceful recovery there. Wait, so it was the question... No, I don't think the the question question was... The question wasn't even about hurting... No, just do you think they use that ability... In their day to day, I never made any comment. The fact about that you it. thought that this wouldn't end up being about domestic abuse is insane. You're like, oh, these no, guys no, can no, no, really no. throw guys, women. I mean, further no, than the average should, man can throw women. You guys should look at yourselves as individuals and uh, figure out why you connected those two points. But no, this was this had nothing to do with that. Because you framed their abilities in terms of I how far they could throw women. In terms of women's, I didn't. Yeah. No, yeah. I know. I just said they could throw women very far because that's the only. There's not like, male two like, male you know figure how, skaters. It's like horsepower. Like, <laughs> Like, yeah, like, you know how Superman's faster than a spoon? He's just like faster than the fastest woman and <laughs> strong enough to beat up no, a bunch no. of women. <laughs> it was no, there was no, there was no mention of this. No, it's just because the only thing they're throwing, male figure skaters, the only people they're throwing are women. He can leap over the charges he gets for beating up his wife in a single <laughs> bound or whatever. <laughs> no, I'm just, no, you guys, are, you guys brought it to this place. I didn't. 
the question had nothing to do with that. Dude, and, you, uh, you basically were like, if there was a guy who could beat the shit out of his wife easily, <laughs> what are other things he could do with that aggression and strength? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not even, I'm not trying to be presumptuous about ice skaters. They don't seem like aggressive people. They just have great forearm throwing strength. I'm throwing w- women. I yeah. mean, they only do it with women. We can, they might not be know. very good with other objects other than women. The, <laughs> right. <shape>. <laughs> the <laughs> potato sack, they're like, what? this doesn't have feelings. No, yeah. <laughs> I can't hurt this. <laughs> yeah, I think male figure skaters are monsters to answer your question. <laughs> yeah, I have a problem with them. <laughs> I think it's wrong how 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 far they throw women <laughs> on ice or off ice. I yeah, every I, time I watch figure skating and they throw them, I'm like, whoa, ease up. Let's let's not so not so far, guys. <laughs> yeah. Try to like cancel them for their figure skating routines. <laughs> every time a woman falls after a guy throws her figure skating, I do call. Yeah. I call the Olympics and yeah. I try to cancel that mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. I want him off the ice. So there's nothing else? Nothing else what? Women, I mean with the, the throw, you know. Well, I, mean, I so don't hurt throw, women. Uh, is that what you want? <laughs> I feel like the full question that you just didn't finish asking is like, okay, you know how male figure skaters can throw women? What do you guys think about me getting into figure skating? <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Do He's another like, I can hardly push a woman, <laughs> let alone throw. You see these guys? Chucking them around the ice. They can't even it's get back at sense. you. You're pale faced in a basement. You just want to throw a woman. Yeah. And you need to, and that's an acceptable way to get the strength. Yeah, I want to throw a woman and I want the world to cheer. <laughs> we do another question usually when i do it i get yelled at online no we're not stopping this question you're abusive we need to get to the bottom of it what i uh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna talk about me abusing them but i'm not what is the question again it was about whether or not what would male figure skaters do with the ability to throw 100 pounds about five to ten yards figure skate fucking idiot (laughs) what do you mean (laughs) you can see what they're doing you can do other stuff what you know they're olympic level figure skate yeah like (laughs) redecorate easily just go into another like it you know i mean it's not like killer like that strong what killer hugs killer hug we just switched questions (laughs) this didn't go my way i didn't like i liked it what was your best case scenario i don't know imagine you asked that question and we're like damn dude good question did you did you did you you do your last question? Did you hear that when you said it? What do you think was yeah, your that's best? Yeah, true, Nick. You're kind yeah, of glass housing him right now. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I feel like you guys. I feel like that was you guys not listening. So it's <laughs> what if Nate? Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. What if NATO <laughs> yeah. NATO was short yeah. for Nathan? And then you did a bunch of preamble about the Ukraine to make yeah. it like topical, but like it wasn't about that. It was a shitty word <laughs> punch joke that you wanted us to just do all the heavy lifting for. If you guys were male figure skaters, you could have done the heavy lifting there. That's what they would have done. They would have riffed on my NATO pun better. <laughs> By the way, you keep saying forearm strength. I think they use other muscles. No. What if they use just Jeez. their forearm? Well, that's crazy. You just yeah. it's literally just this. Yeah. This. It's that's all in forearm. the wrists. That's what you don't realize about figure skating throwing. It's just wrist movements. Who would you, if you had to throw a woman, who would you throw? God. That's a great question. That does count as yours. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't get to do one now. <laughs> it can be a prostitute, but it doesn't have to be. Actually, if it's a prostitute, you got to throw two because they're lesser. <laughs> Not in my <laughs> eyes, in societies. I think they're better, actually. Yeah, Nick is just commenting on society. Mm-hmm. I would throw Maria Bamford because I feel like she'd make a lot of fun noises. She would. She would do impressions you know, of other people impressions. having been thrown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she'd be very entertaining. This is the girl from high school who got thrown. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, who would you throw? You have to answer. Oh, I'm DeGeneres. <sighs> You throw Ellen DeGeneres? Yeah. That's a good why? One. Be, I don't know. You're going to throw Ellen DeGeneres and you don't know why. <laughs> you throw her and she'd go, why? And you go, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you guys have made so many jokes about me hurting women. I just... No, we I don't haven't. Keep this going. <laughs> I mean, we have, but we haven't. Yeah, I don't want to add more to me throwing women jokes. We've um, made as many you beating women jokes as... It makes sense with your bare walls behind you. Like we're matching your surrounding. Does that make sense? I could have phrased that better. You hit okay. women and you're alone. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you want to move on, Nathan? Oh, wait, nobody ask. asked me who I would throw. Who would you throw, Nick? I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I would hire them to calculate logistics on other women being thrown. I don't know. It would just be really progressive and better than Nathan. Mm-hmm. I feel Thank like you. hiring women. Yeah, like I know. You have a problem with aggressive. hiring women. <laughs> Wait, what are you saying, Nathan? Uh, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> just next question. I want to get out of this. My girlfriend listens to this podcast and I'm not going to. You bring up your girlfriend right now is such a like, I have a black friend move. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's such an I know a black guy stuck in a painting mood. <laughs> okay, so 
So you have herpes is the reality. Because I, you know, <laughs> recently had a herpes scare because I was sleeping with someone with herpes. So you discover you have herpes. Did you know? Uh, yep. And you discover. Beforehand? Yep. Calculated risk. Okay. Scroll into the bottom of the terms and conditions. Check, check, check. Download okay, iTunes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you discover that the cure for herpes is lying on your taxes. <laughs> so you're free from the stress of herpes and you can have sex with whoever you want, but you're constantly stressed about being audited. Ow. Would you lie on your taxes for years? years to keep your herpes at bay. Okay. I'm actually not sure what herpes is that. Is that why you couldn't feel your penis on the cold toilet before? Wait, was that on the <laughs> no, podcast? No, or did you say that no, before? No, no, that that doesn't doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't on the podcast. That wasn't on the podcast. Okay. That sorry. Was a conversation between friends. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. For the listeners, that was a re- Zach before the podcast was saying he tried to have sex with his toilet, <laughs> but he was not able to come. And I ended up peeing on it like an idiot. Did the toilet have herpes? Yeah. It's how would you have sex with your toilet? I don't know. I'll leave Zach's Instagram. <laughs> Instagram in the comments yeah. <laughs> so you can I'll, ask him he'll, he'll field that one of my highlights on my story yeah um okay wait so would i risk auditing by the irs to avoid so herpes by the way if you don't know what it is it's a viral std so like others are bacterial and you can solve them just like any other bacterial infection. But a virus, the, all the bad ones are viruses, AIDS, HIV, herpes. It's pretty benign, but it like lives in, in your mouth. It lives in like your jaw and in your uh, genitals. It lives in like your spine or something. And you can never cure it. There's no cure, but you can kind of treat it. But you do have to be careful with sexual. You can have outbreaks. Would the auditor understand? When no, I no, no. You have no. to lie to them. You oh, can't, I can't. No, 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 no. I'm saying once I get caught, if I was just like, dude, I... I have herpes. Like I could have had herpes. I bet you'd be yeah, more be. likely to get caught because they would be looking for people who have who have might herpes. have herpes. Yeah, because they're like, oh, those are the tax <laughs> they sluts don't know. or tax. They don't cheats. know this. This is just you. Could I just start having a sex with auditors, and then if they ever try to audit me, just explain the situation? Does it retroactively work? So if I get herpes, do they since they had sex with me, do they also you, get herpes? Are you saying then that you would blackmail an auditor? I would. I would blackmail every auditor. Slide, yeah. Mm-hmm. And or like, else we're you all get getting. Herpes. You're like either if I go. We all go down. We're all getting herpes. If I go down, you break out. Yeah. And I mean, they're auditors. They're not, they're not getting fucked. They're doing tax return audits. They're not, well, I'm, I don't know about yeah. that. You think when they start talking about work, it crushes? You think auditors are killing it in the... Man, I think auditors have a lot dating to game? offer. Yeah. What, what do they have to offer? I don't know. They can audit your body. <laughs> they, and yeah. they're smart, successful women. Man, what is your problem with women <laughs> this episode, dude? <laughs> I think I think that audit fund you just made is about I think they all use that exact line every time. I can I audit, your body. Only, audit your, no, body. your body. Yeah, no, I'll say audit your body and like you have anything else? I'm like, no. Ooh, speaking no, of which my one line. Do you guys think NATO uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. Yeah, this is, okay. this is, here's yeah, the and right. here's the thing. Here's the crazy part. Yeah, is yeah, it yeah, short yeah. for Nathan? I mean, that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Well, it's really, would you trade sexual stress for financial stress? Do I have to do research? I'm not going to do research. Like if this was easy, I would do it, but it feels like I have to do a lot You of can steps. shittily falsify your taxes, but the stress of being audited will be insurmountable. Do I get to do it in a way I make money or do I have to just... This you is just, you pay more. <laughs> you oh, wow. Pay. Pay. So the question <laughs> is, would I pay higher taxes? Would you do to... your taxes shittily wrong and to your detriment <laughs> if you could cure your herpes? I would just send them a picture of my herpes penis and be like, <laughs> audit this. And they'd be like, that's... Yeah, they would just think I was being very political. <laughs> They'd be like, ooh, libertarian. Okay. <laughs> I would draw a little snake head on my penis, you know, like the uh, don't don't uh, tread on me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they would get it. My penis is too small, but like I would go. For... What is that? A w- small caterpillar? Yeah. Yeah. With covered in warts. <laughs> like that's... Yeah. What is the statement he's making? The way you. <laughs> yeah, they would not know who I voted for based on that picture of my penis, which is too bad. Zach, would you do it? I do it for a few years, yes, when I was single, and then once I'd finally settled down and <laughs> both agreed that we could do this, then I would stop lying. You're never leaving me, and then you'd give her herpes. Yeah, isn't there ways to not give other people herpes? Not having sex with them, not having sex, or I mean, condoms and not having sex during an outbreak. And the final thing is um, not having sex with them. No, it's it's like an anti. <clears throat> it's a med- It's a pill you can. How big is the pill? It's the size of your ass. <laughs> What a stupid question. How big is the doctor? But how big is that? That matters though? a lot, dude. I, I got a one of the big Advil ones. So you can feel oh, it in your throat. Oh you man, the no, ghost, I, I'm gonna ghost pill in your throat for like ten minutes. Yeah, for me, awesome. the size of the pill was entirely gonna decide whether or not I did it or not. So yeah, you'd give some girl herpes everything. and then be like, yeah, but look how big this. Pill. It's not even chewable. What the? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> chewable, yeah. chewable pills are like the Velcro of pills. It's like so dumb. <laughs> 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 oh, you need to chew it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny line. You should use that line. That's funny. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll think about you it. Well, I do have. About... A, I do. I'm. I'm working on a bit about herpes. I think if. Uh, I think if. Uh, I think a billionaire just needs to get herpes, and that's all it will take. Is this your bit about herpes? Are Maybe. you doing your stand up right now? What if they Magic Johnson? Like, they have the cure, but they don't give it to anybody else. Did he Maybe. do that? Yeah. I mean, he has. He ha- has AIDS, like quote unquote, but he doesn't have AIDS. Uh, has Dude, AIDS. I want to go around doing <laughs> that to people with AIDS. He has. <laughs> <laughs> Heard he has A's. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, I saw him at a restaurant last week. It doesn't seem like AIDS to me. Seem pretty not saw, AIDSy. No, I saw Dallas Buyers Club. They were not having fun. <laughs> Except for when they were having fun. It was actually kind of uplifting at parts. Well, that's the gay experience, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Do you think just everyone, like, if, if this was a thing that everyone knew about, do you think we would just see people that do, like, audits and uh, accountants would just be people that were, like, former sluts? I mean, we basically live in a world where all the sluts became real estate agents. So, like, it's not, it yeah, wouldn't yeah, be yeah. that different. Yeah. Could you imagine if you met an accounting and they were talking about boring tax stuff for a minute? It's like, are you a slut? Like, you know a lot slut. about <laughs> What else you know about? <laughs> Do you guys think Bob Saget went to heaven? (laughs) And why or why not? (laughs) Really consider his whole career, Full House, his stand-up, the roast. I think if he would have gotten to heaven, Full House, and then he did Fuller House, and that was when they crossed off I don't think they based heaven off of your creative career out. Seen Fuller House? No. Okay, well, watch it. Does he, like, fuck a kid? It's just as bad. (laughs) No, it's just not well written. That's what it says. It's It's pretty bad. Even worse. It's it's clearly a cash grab. Just, I mean, you know. (laughs) Well, send him right to the brimstone. Stone. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, is there a purgatory in this uh, mm-hmm. world? No, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you in the real world, <laughs> did he go to heaven for real? Like real heaven? Yeah, real heaven. You- no, yeah. He's not an unbaptized baby. He's going one place or another. Oh, okay. I thought he was. He kind of lays like he's an unbaptized. Like in, uh, in, in Full House, you're like, is he an unbaptized baby? No, he, but, but, but he's acting. <laughs> so will he, won't he be yeah. an unbaptized baby? Yeah, yeah. I would say heaven. Yeah, I think as Danny Tanner and Bob Saget, he played a Is a he noble- Jewish? father I which don't... is not important in this i'm just wondering just i don't think sidebar, he is. I don't... Wait, 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 is that pro or anti-jewish what neutral just... neutral no, i was the sidebar i'm just yeah, but like, why you ask i i asked that about everyone neutral question which people don't like well, wait, wait so when you ask if somebody went to heaven your next question is always are they jewish that feels like it's not it's a... like are you hispanic yes no did you get into heaven are you jewish yes no yeah <laughs> i'm just saying if you ask it every time clearly it matters or else you wouldn't like if it's not a big deal why'd you ask every time i'm not understanding what you're saying here Nathan. you're really i'm saying me. every time if someone when you ask them do they go to heaven or not if you then ask are they jewish it feels like that kind of matters to you a little bit yeah and that's kind of a waste because i could just ask if they were jewish first and then not even bother with the second one you know <laughs> See, that's why it feels like it. wait a minute <laughs> just kidding everybody do you guys think I'm he went to heaven? Going to heaven you nick if he's jewish i think he goes to heaven that's what i was saying <laughs> i hope that was clear from before he's chosen yeah, he's was. one of the chosen people yeah i, I don't know what else he would have done i mean he no. said a lot of dirty things on he me. was dirty dirty do you was not go to heaven really? for that Oh, uh, yeah. What? Yeah, dude. He was like, a, yeah, he, he has crazy jokes. What if God is like, hey, I like your stand up? Full House was gay, but the yeah, stand up was yeah. pretty funny. Was Although this, it would be weird. Could you imagine yes. if you went to hell and then you saw Bob Saget? I don't know how I'd be, I'd be like, well, that's weird, at least. Wait, I if he was there, do I have to hang out with him or can I? That's why it's hell. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to hang, have out, with to Bob hang out with Bob Saget. Yeah. He's, just, he's just pitching his new gross material all the time. You're like, dude, could we just. Anything else, man? She has is pages and pages of jokes to run by you. <laughs> Uh, he had hours of material he didn't release and you get to hear it and it's all dirty stories from full house you're like no <laughs> oh. he asks you your favorite episodes and then ruins each one sequentially yeah. down let me tell you where i came on the set yeah. on those episodes yeah you guys want to know in what season mary kate had her period or you're like no <laughs> <laughs> oh, bob <laughs> This is more of a scenario that I want you guys to like, you'll, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Okay. Is it that I found out a loved one, my brother has been beating women. What do I do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who do I oh, That's tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. You have an unsuccessful podcast. So this is, this is a pretty relatable <laughs> question to everybody in the group. Hey, yeah. <laughs> okay, you have an unsuccessful podcast. Nobody's listened to it. And you're at a funeral. How do you pitch it? I think you got to, first of all, find a way to give a eulogy. And then you got to crush on the, I mean, that's how it works. You got to yep. be like the trick to getting audiences to go on other people's, you got to murder at the eulogy. Their mic or do you pull out your podcast mic? You, you use their mic. I mean, that's a, so, you know, yeah, that's, you know, 
I mean, you use the mic like, that was. Yeah, people don't, don't listen don't to, to podcasts fancy. for the mics. Um, but do you think you could put maybe you could put like a flyer or like a QR code like on top of the body? If you just put a QR code with no explanation, people would definitely scan it to be like, is this like for the body somehow? Like, is it part of the funeral? And then they listen and it's their like concern for Nathan's girlfriend. I think you would go. I think this is how you guys would pitch your podcast at a funeral. You go up to uh, funerals. You go up to the, the, the mourners. They're crying and you go, hey, what if he mm. wasn't dead? <laughs> Please discuss similar hypotheticals in my podcast, <laughs> hypothetically, with brothers Nick and Nathan Hopper. Yeah. Do you want a tissue? All I have are business cards for my podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Please dab your eyes with them. Yeah, what if his head was a painting? <laughs> 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 what if he had herpes but poor financial bookkeeping yeah and they're like what does that mean it's like i don't know you'll have to listen <laughs> it's kind of fun i don't know how i'd pitch my podcast because it's about the brothers it's about the siblings of famous you could go to siblings of famous people that have died go to their funeral that's be really topical if you thought you could this probably was get sad. into the siblings funeral too not the famous person so yeah, it would be pretty yeah. low security <laughs> Right. <laughs> there wouldn't be a lot going on i mean they'd just be glad we had a fan oh wow <laughs> oh wow it's owen wilson's <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> uh, brian wilson or whatever that guy is but i think if you're a famous person you have a sibling they should have to change their name to just your name but like spelled wrong like o-w-a-n wilson and they always go did you mean and they go never yeah. <laughs> no, I, no i didn't mean that what if you're uh, like what if you're like the Jonas brothers, like the fourth brother? Do you have to somehow combine all their names or how would you do it there? Like Four Nick Jonas or Frankie? Brothers? Yeah, yeah. Like do you have to somehow combine <laughs> if you're the fourth Jonas brother and the other three are famous, what yeah, how would you miss oh oh you're spell all their names? Yeah. No, I think you'd have to all of them at once together spelled yeah, yeah. wrong. You have to just hyphenate all of them spelled wrong. Time. You don't even get to hyphenate. You have to just oh. put them all together. You only get one capital at the beginning, so it's really tough it's, to read. It's Frankie mm. Nakja. We did get hit up by Nicolas Cage's brother, who uh, thought we trashed him. He emailed do you think us. he thinks a lot of people are trashing him? Yeah, I mean, he's like, you guys didn't do me as dirty as Stern did. And I'm like, oh, it's us and Stern, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow, he, you got a Google alert for your name on it, don't you? What'd you he, say about him? I want to get him to email. Yeah, Nick yeah, yeah. Cage's brother is a pedophile. That's what I heard. <laughs> I can hear the grass rustling. <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> my my glass of water starts to shake. Mark Coppola is on the way. I heard he didn't get national treasure and then he just went crazy. <laughs> Like he's like a radio DJ, and the only things that he did related to like movies or TV, he played like an air traffic controller. Like any guy who has headphones on or is <laughs> holding a mic, he's playing as an actor. We are l- l- landing. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get him on the pod. Will you? Can I be on the pod if you get him? Really confused to get like you and him. Yeah, really yeah. muddy up what we'll the podcast cool is going to be about. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like to have both of you guys on. I, I won't be mean to you, Nathan. I'm sorry if you feel. Oh, like thank it. you. Means a lot. What? that i won't be mean to you that i'll have you on <laughs> it's only one's true yeah <laughs> yeah he's not gonna have you on you're gonna show up to new york and we're just gonna slam the door <laughs> <laughs> no i'll be nice you can have a bottle of water while you wait for me to finish the podcast do you think at owen wilson's funeral they'll let people say oh wow no he has a writer about when he's in a movie yeah, yeah, he has a he, in his contract. It says you cannot say oh wow. Do you think he'll have that rule at his funeral, or will just everyone say oh wow unison? I think like that would be the time kind of to say it, kind yeah. of like in celebration of his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that he's gone, yeah, yeah. Can say but it. they don't. They won't say it like they won't like say it like he says it. They'll do like how in church when you all say, say the same words at the same time and kind of a oh. like yeah, kind of a monotonous like oh wow. If I had Owen Wilson in a movie and I had that writer, I would make him say so many things that rhyme with oh wow. <laughs> the whole movie. He's like, oh, oh wow. I, oh, gal. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Low pow. <Yeah. laughs> how now? Brown gal. Who wrote you, this script? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have any lines other than that. <laughs> do you do it until he removes from the contract or do you leave in all that other shit that is until he Holy kills bonkers. himself <laughs> yeah, until, until he, he dies <laughs> yeah you just keep asking for reshoots yeah do it again you almost had <laughs> <laughs> a little more owen wilson oh, wow. if you know what i mean <laughs> if, if you, you want to say I mean. oh wow if you, you know just yeah. whatever if you want to add lib you, you have to but if you want to add lib to stop <laughs> if you ever want to see your wife again i also have her wife that's part of it his, his wife it's a kidnapping yeah you know that's hollywood baby i mean yeah. i don't know about you like it's crazy out there dude i heard nick cage's brother fucks kids like 
I hope he doesn't see this. I want him to do the pod. I hope he does see this and he does our pod to correct. Yeah, that'd be cool. To he's just try to convince, he's going to email us and be like, all right, come on the pod and convince us you don't fuck kids. Like, <laughs> you have an hour. We're going to ask hard hitting questions. <laughs> he told me he had a broken foot. Kid, I got probably some from sip kid trying to get away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He didn't say whose broken foot it was. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I hurt my best one. <laughs> I have a broken oh, foot. I only have. 15 good feet left. <laughs> that would be eight kids. Actually, seven kids plus his own feet. Okay, laughter is medicine that can cure anything, but it has to be elicited from horrendously racist jokes. Would Nathan, you take it away? <laughs> <laughs> I guess my question is, who do you think would cure their cancer? So is it just a world where there's no racially sensitive people? No, same world. Same, it's the same world. world. No, 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 but I'm saying they would all die. Uh, eventually, yeah, eventually the world. Yeah. Yes, it would just be a like lot a of people week. in the Midwest whose heart disease just cleared up. <laughs> yeah, just diabetes is really only like a West Coast thing. <laughs> I bet a lot of woke people would not, uh, would die rather than do, say something mean. And I bet if a lot you, of racist people would step their game up. If you were in a crowd of people, like a, like a crowd of really woke people, and you had like cancer or something, and someone was making those racially insensitive jokes, would you laugh or would you try to... Hide it. Well, that's, you know. that's, maybe that's how they, maybe that's the stakes of curing you is like the doctor comes in and like, are, are you ready for the procedure? Yeah. <laughs> he's about to tell you a crazy <laughs> joke. And then a huge curtain opens up and it's everyone you've ever known. Yeah. So like, even if you live, they're going to uh, meet to you. You're fucked. Oh, like, you no will way. live because this <laughs> joke is good. Yeah, <laughs> this is a good joke. This is the best doctor in town. Uh, but everyone will think very poorly of you. They'll go, <gasps> and you'll go. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so awesome. You're on the operating table in the gown and stuff. And yeah. they put the mask on you. And then the doctor's just like, okay, so there's an Asian guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. listen to this shit. <laughs> yeah. What if you went so far it didn't even cure people anymore? It's like, dude, that was too racist, man. That's not even, that's not even a joke, dude. <laughs> no, I thought I was helping. Uh, you weren't helping. <laughs> if it was just a racist statement that didn't technically... Well, yeah, did it have to be a joke? Or if someone just said something racist, racist that happens to be funny, does that count? A generous KKK. <laughs> healing, <laughs> healing the masses. Yeah, the Jesus of the KKK. Like going to the leopards and stuff. Yes. Did you say leopards? Leopards, like what Jesus did. You're saying leopards. Oh, God. You're that... saying Jesus healed the leopards. He turned them uh, into pumas. Is not leopards? What's With the... no spots. What's... I actually didn't. You didn't leopards? know that. Is there leopards. no D? There was all these leopards? sick leopards and Jesus healed them. A lot of people get... thought it was a waste of Jesus' resources and time, frankly. Because <laughs> <laughs> he had to leave the Middle East and go to leopards. <laughs> would you have to be nice? Would you have to, like, when you saw a KKK member, would you have to be like, thank you for your service or whatever? No, because or... he's not. He's like a rogue doctor. Like, doctors yeah. are, are able to practice. He's an unlikely okay. practitioner. Oh, you go so down you... to Mexico if you want that kind of service. Oh, okay. Right. Wait, so... <laughs> Wait, so if you truck, say telling you <laughs> telling you so if you make like a racist remark at the office someone's gonna be like what's where's your license whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, they're need... gonna be like are you impersonating a doctor that would make it a crime to make yeah. like racist yeah oh wow that would okay. be a better world i think <laughs> only the only racist jokes that could be told you'd have to go through eight years of schooling to be can... specifically the, the the right kind of no i'm medically racist. I'm medically racist <laughs> do you you're just can a you, dick can you be racist <laughs> about any like, if I'm talking to, like, a black person, do I have to make black jokes to help them? <laughs> or is it my preference and no, I just do I, it? No, I think it's your, I mean, you're the doctor. Well, no, they right, have to I think know it's I, fun. You know what I mean? It would be that. such a weird dynamic because you're listening to jokes that offend you, but also your life depends on that you laugh at them. Uh, you know, so you're like, ha, 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 ha. This is really, uh, all the responsibility falls on the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a fake laugh help it, or does it have to be, like, a hearty no, that hurts. Wow. Him. If you fake party, laugh, you go stage three, stage four. Oh, wow. <laughs> you oh, accelerate wow. a stage. And all it's the doctors risky. have to just go into the field and like, you know, try to find new stereotypes because there's new diseases. We got to figure out. Yeah. yeah. Like Albanians uh, aren't good at golf. Fuck, is that something? It was in Puerto Rico. They were drinking out of straws. Kind of funny. Uh, and then and then is if the disease is worse, do you have to be more racist or more funny to cure it? <laughs> what if yeah. we don't oh. discover that for like a while? It turns out you could have been pretty tame and people were like really going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing like the equivalent of leeching for jokes yeah like, you just needed a little <laughs> band and some ointment <laughs> yeah yeah just like all. asians yeah, don't drive well would have worked for everything yeah. but you... <laughs> you didn't need to walk into the bar <laughs> one of them could have stayed outside <laughs> you know saint saint uh patrick yeah and he was like a saint because he cleared ireland of snakes is that what he did 
I think that's part of it. Let's just say that's what he, I think that's what he did. Who cares? I guess my <laughs> yeah. first thing, did he kill all the snakes? And then what do you think the public perception was as he's killing more and more? Cause like by the end, they're like, Oh my gosh, he's a saint. But I got to imagine once like he's killed 30 snakes. Wait, they're not I like, don't... that's cool. <laughs> I like yeah. that. He was like, I want to be a saint. And they're like, Oh, so you're going to be like super nice to everybody and helpful. And he's like, close. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm going to kill all the snakes. You know how snakes are a huge problem. And they're like, no, I mean, <laughs> do you like snakes? I mean, I don't like them. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Guys, the question? Wait, Riff, what? I don't know. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not, I feel like it's a hard question. <laughs> no, I'm thinking, what do you think? What, what was the question? What do people about, think? What about all that? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, what public perception change as he's killing snakes. He's, he's killed one snake. What do people I mean, think? to be honest, I don't think killing all the snakes is a miracle. I don't think did that's he, a wait, wait, wait. Did At this time, did people own snakes as pets? Like at first, was he like a pet murderer? And then he moved on to bigger and better things. So that's probably what happened. He probably yeah. killed someone's pet snake and he's like no i'm killing all this did i not tell you guys <laughs> yeah because like the early uh serial killers kind of build up when they're killing <laughs> stuff and they start with like pets and small animals so just was he a serial killer start oh you think he would have and he didn't realize he didn't have to kill the whole species before <laughs> yeah, he yeah. graduate what do snakes eat birds species? i don't know who do you think made him a saint after he killed all the snakes Birds? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I don't. I think very few snakes eat birds because birds fly. That's why I asked what snakes eat, <laughs> and then immediately went birds. I think they it wasn't eat a, mice. What do snakes eat? Tractor? Well, <laughs> <laughs> the tractors. Who made him king of the saints? Tractors? <laughs> <laughs> I think they eat mice. Yeah, probably mice would have been better. I'm, I'm gonna get that line. Again. Who do you think made him a saint? Tractor? Ah, fuck it. No, up. Nick. Damn it. <laughs> Mice. There we go. Now I can cut it together. <laughs> Clips, baby. This is just a clip yeah, factory. Yeah, the fact that there's any continuity here is purely coincidental. Just clocking in at the clip mill. Have you guys ever killed a snake? No. No, I killed a huge cockroach yesterday, though. It scared the shit out of me. Like, Did you kill it with your bare hand? No, 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 no. I, I was like playing the drums and it was like as big as my face. Like its body was like this big and it was just crawling up my wall. And I got up and I killed it with a shoe. And uh, right before I did, he was so big that I felt like I had to address him. I went to pie. <laughs> and then I killed him. You didn't kill him with a drumstick? As part of the like... <laughs> as the solo. Yeah. Yeah, and you're right. You're right he's... Yeah, farted in yours. No, I was. he was getting squished in mine. Oh, I thought he went... <laughs> yeah, no, that's getting squished. Oh, I thought that was the fart of death. No, no. Every time when I was a kid and I did that's that noise... That's my strongest fart. People thought I was doing a fart noise. No, I was doing a... If I fart on you after the fart of death and you walk five steps... <laughs> then it stinks. <laughs> then it stinks. You walk five so, steps dude, you're like, It doesn't oh. even stink at first. Yeah, you're like, okay, good. go enjoy your day. <laughs> oh! <laughs> One, two... Th Nathan, kill the snakes. What? Can you help me out here? <laughs> you know, why would someone want to kill snakes? I don't know. I you know, what's up with the snakes? <laughs> Were snakes a big problem back then? Uh, well, I don't, I didn't even know who the saint was before you said St. Patrick? The drinking god. On uh, St. Patrick's Day? You never noticed oh. everybody's dressed like a dead snake? <laughs> <laughs> what's with all the green, guys? It's snake stuff. It's snake stuff. Or maybe it'd be better. You never noticed no one is dressed like a snake. Because <laughs> they're all dead. <laughs> Sort of went both ways with that joke. Yeah, we got uh, right. them to play simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whose turn is it? Nate the Wraith. Oh, his his um his actual nickname for the podcast is Fat Nate. Stop. <laughs> no, I'm not call him that. We established that last episode. <laughs> in in like a Nick. famous trombone player kind of way? Oh, like in a Nick's bullying me kind of way. Oh. If it makes you feel better, I was fat for a big part of my life. So it sting just as much as it did then. <laughs> but you're on podcast so you have to do it i have to do it yeah you have to call me at one i'll choose wise yeah but you have to i will or else okay. we can't okay. release yeah it. yeah we have to throw it out the whole episode i get it i honestly yeah. felt or strangely i honestly felt strangely tense in this moment did you say he'd eat it <laughs> nice yeah, yeah. <laughs> you felt strangely that, tense Nick? yeah i was like what is what's about to happen right <laughs> <laughs> i thought there was just going to be a long beat and you'd be like um fat nate <laughs> <laughs> Do you think if Spider-Man has webs instead of by like doing the weird hand thing, he had to like thrust his tips? Do you think people would want to be saved by him anymore? Or I think his theme song would be different. Like <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man, not allowed at schools. <laughs> From all the playgrounds, he's banned. <laughs> He can can't he... swing many places. <laughs> I was going to do can he swing from a web? Yes, he can. We don't like it. <laughs> we wish he'd stop. <laughs> yeah, people would be like, how'd you get your powers? He's like, I was bit by a radioactive spider and I have problems. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and I'm technically not supposed to be this close to your kid. I don't know why I'm assuming that he's. Yeah, they would be like, <laughs> why is he pedophile? <laughs> pedophile at it all? It would well, be what a if bigger. He accidentally shot for a building and he accidentally hit a kid and then he pulled himself. You know, he pulled a kid and it was crying. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be a bigger issue that he wears the mask. Like in the Spider-Man comics, it's just it's just J. Jonah Jameson wants him to take off the mask, but it would be most people would be like, yeah, yeah no mask. Uh, he, so he stops crimes, but I think that's a cover for something. So you're saying it's coming out of his penis? Oh, no, I didn't say it. I just said he had to do the motion of a hip. You guys, it's still coming out of his wrist? <laughs> yeah, he's doing that. He's, he's just doing a killer hip for us. He just looks like you he guys. loves swinging. <laughs> I'm out of here, guys. Oh, so that's how he triggers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never said it came out of his dick. But the webs are generated in his balls, and they have to go have up, to come up to his hand, and he well, has to obviously. get motion yeah. going. There's like a two second buffer because it has to get from his balls. <laughs> I'm out of here. Now I'm going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess sex would be a problem. Be like, I I am, I'm a joke. Weber. Just yeah. a warning. I web. I web, and I scream when I web. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people think it's hot. Yes. It's yeah. not P. It's not P. No, I didn't. I didn't think it was P. Okay. Well, it's not P. Well, so just letting you know, it's not. It's made of semen. I think if his webs were made of semen, that would change Spider-Man. Yeah. What if Spider-Man was exactly the same, but scientists figured out his webs were made of semen? I think that'd be much worse, and nobody would ask. They would release everyone he got put in prison. They'd be like, you know what? Sorry about that. They webbed you up <laughs> in semen. <laughs> you know that one? You know where scenes where like someone's falling and he tries to web to save them? I would try to dodge it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd have a lot of illegitimate children. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's time. just coming all over the city. It's got it's mm -hmm. bound to drop into someone. You know, how how do you think he got his powers? The spider just crawled onto him. A drop mm -hmm. of his spidey gum just <laughs> falls into someone's, you know, coffee. They spill it, it gets in there. Yeah. Ooh, you got a little spider kid coming out. Just to be clear, you're saying Spider-Man, while fighting crime, shoots webs, and then through an unfortunate series of coincidences, the web winds up in a woman's <laughs> vagina. Yeah, through a kind of rube gold gum machine. Right. It's like coffee. Yeah. yeah. Off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think more web would get in people's mouths I, I don't think he would mean to but i just think that's what it would end up being that's how he'd fight villain he wouldn't even use it to web people to things he would just laugh that he got it in their mouth <laughs> i mean he already he webs people's faces a lot i think it would just be a much more devastating attack or if he was fighting a female superhero and then she's oh, like yeah. i gotta get plan b now <laughs> yeah every fight with spider-man costs 50 dollars <laughs> <laughs> really frustrating his, his weakness isn't kryptonite but birth control what if Spider-Man's I'm webs... condom man? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> and my assistant dental dam. <laughs> what if Spider-Man's yeah, web? Spider <laughs> 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 What if he just shoots cum and it's not even because you you were saying it is the webbing, but it's cum like, but it still has the properties of the webbing. Yeah. What if it was just regular cum out of his wrists? Would he even bring I, that up that it's that's part of his abilities? He, would, he wouldn't be a superpower. He wouldn't be a superhero at all. He'd be uncomfortable. It'd be weird to be around him. He would have all these amazing athletic abilities, but he wouldn't use them because he would just be hanging out alone at home, feeling self conscious. <laughs> yeah, I come out of my wrists. That's really overshadowed. Come out of his dick in this, or no? probably wouldn't bend. His no spiders come anymore. out. Of, spiders come out of his dick. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, so and. And his and his butt. They come out of his dick and his butt. But he's really strong. Yeah, he's a he's a mess, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's super depressed. Yeah, he doesn't know what to do. Does he I still mean, wear the outfit and he wears just the mask because he needs because <laughs> the spiders need to get out. If if he doesn't let him out, it clogs. Oh, really? He has to let him out? Yeah, you gotta let him oh. out. <laughs> <laughs> so he wears just the mask, he shoots cum out of his wrists, and uh spiders come out of, of and, and his butt. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but. <laughs> well, he could wear a shirt. He could just look like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah, a nightmarish yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's True. more of a Donald Duck. It's the same right. thing, Nathan. Yeah. The yeah important part saying, is I... there's spiders in his ass and different penis. IP. But and they're different spiders too. Oh, every time. Well, no, it's just like there's there's like ass spiders and there's dick spiders. And his villains know the difference because they fought him right enough. Spiders are the spiders on his team, or are they going to bite him? No, they are antagonistic. <laughs> they did not want to so, he, so it's like you have just trapped a bunch of spiders in a small space and just release them. Yeah, so the thing about a... the spiders is they don't want to come out. They're trying to stay in where it's warm, and he's got to get them out <laughs> while fighting crime and coming out so of it's, his wrist. It's more like a kidney stone that's really angry at you than it is a 
superpower. Yeah, that, that's brain. how he discovered his powers. He went into the ER because he thought he had kidney stones, and they were like, "It's actually spiders, believe it or not. It's really gross." You should probably let them out. They they seem pretty happy. <laughs> they're, and once they're out, they try to get back in. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that. He's always being chased always by being spiders. Followed. That's just, he has to kill his children immediately after they come out, or else they'll try to go back in. They'll get back in. They just drown him, and his wrist come. <laughs> that's his calling card. It's dead spiders covered in cum. <laughs> <laughs> the Spidey's been here. Yeah. Pictures, Parker. <laughs> I need pictures. Not of his cum. Not of these dead spiders covered in cum. Him. Peter I Parker, see bro. the spiders come out, Peter. <laughs> Is this podcast terrible? <laughs> what was the question? I don't remember. It was about if what Spider-Man, Spider-Man had to shoot. No, no. It was if Spider-Man. Oh, oh the hip thrust. With the hip thrust. <laughs> oh, yeah. You and know, you guys. You know, now that out. I'm like reevaluating that original question, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after everything I've heard today, that's really no big deal. <laughs> so this is this is uh, my last one before I go, Fat Nate. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. You can save Jesus from being killed. No. Then, I'm going to oh, say wow. that again. Clean take. You can yeah, save yeah. Jesus, you unprofessional <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Just to get a little laugh. Just to get a little laugh. <laughs> you, can, you can save Jesus Christ from being murdered by Judas, but you have to kill him later. Otherwise, Christianity won't start, which you could also argue as a reason you don't want to kill him. But Ooh, would you la dee da. La dee da, Would you save him? Yeah, there, this just because you get to kill him. Yeah, I get to kill Jesus. Un- I'm so famous. This is an unrelated question. If I don't kill Jesus, will there be more Jews? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's unrelated. It's unrelated. I'm just, it's, it's I not about. I, I, I'm going uh, to. I don't know. I don't know how the Jew count would be affected worldwide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There would uh, be the same amount of Jews, but they would be stronger. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how his his existence affected the population. Uh, it probably did because Christians probably personally. Yeah, yeah, because who yeah, became? Because you do like oh, the newest there definitely version. Would be more. There would more. be like more. if they never made the iPhone four, everyone would just keep buying the iPhone three. You know, like that's so Christianity is the iPhone four. I'm just saying. It's and the wait, and, and and Jews are the iPhone three in this scenario. You what are <laughs> what are Muslims? <laughs> Fine, Android. The next. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> no, that's Hindu. No, no, I think Hindu is uh, <laughs> a zoon. <laughs> no, I would do it because then you get to pick how you kill Jesus, which influences all of the jewelry and imagery. I would drop an anvil on his head. <laughs> I was sick with it. We wouldn't have rosaries. We'd have like weird anvils and then a smushed person. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't have crosses. You'd have just like a smush thing on the wall. And there'd be these like funny cartoon noises and shit. Bonk. Like that would come up a lot. And (laughs) people would do the thing, the sign of the cross to bonk. They would just do this. Yeah. (laughs) After every prayer, (laughs) huge smash. Or like a TNT. It would be like an Acme, like a Roadrunner type death. I'd paint a fake tunnel. Fake tunnel and have him run into it. Nath. Nath. Yeah, what's up? How would you kill? Jesus? How would I kill Jesus? Well, for first of all, would you save him if you had to kill him later? I'd probably let him live to like 40s or 50s. I'm trying to think what would make the best. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make that a, a short leash. You're giving Jesus a short leash. No, he died at 30. So I'm giving him like 20 more years. I know, but controlled by you. To be honest with you, I think I'd ride on the fact that I get to choose when God dies all the time. It gets so to my head. I would forget to kill him. He'd die of old age. Everyone have weird beds as their It wouldn't be. You're saying you would forget to kill Jesus? No, no. Oh, it'd be so in my head about oh, how you'd be awesome. like what was i supposed to do today oh kill jesus i was supposed to kill jesus <laughs> yeah, yeah i forgot no, no no i'd power trip for like 20 years for that i get to like own this person you know and then i would forget to do it there's um, gonna be a clip what you out of context would i kill jesus yeah <laughs> yeah i'd probably kill jesus um, Dude, i feel like you'd be annoying at bars and stuff you'd be talking about how you could kill jesus and you're like then fucking kill jesus and you're like yeah, ah, dude, shut up. Uh, i'll <laughs> do it later i'll do it the whole personality is you can kill jesus yeah, yeah, wait, okay. would i would i have to go to hell and hang out with bob saget yes that's the thing Damn, it's, it's bob saget doing stand-up and then he's being heckled by bob saget <laughs> <laughs> and you're like well i can't even hear the stand-up <laughs> <laughs> it's not good but i want to hear it his yeah. crowd work is actually worse <laughs> <laughs> he keeps he's asking, asking himself where he's from yeah what do you do <laughs> do you think god would be pissed if you killed yeah, he's him like, and his we son have, we got a whole script here buddy i mean i appreciate what you did back there but we kind of had a thing planned he's <laughs> like i had a i had a cave all ready to go <laughs> put him in the cave bring him back yada yada yeah. like we're in act two right now you're <laughs> screwing us what if you found out the way jesus because you know how they were like how do you get out of the tomb it turned out he had swallowed a key what if we found out that <laughs> oh, he was like a houdini type like a bat
bad David Copperfield? No, a Houdini. That was a perfect David Copperfield's not even a sca- Houdini. What did you go to magician thesaurus.com? Yeah. It's just the only other magician I knew. Of Why did you need head. another magician? Did, 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 did that help? What is he? What is he? Houdini Christ was Angel? a good magician. Yeah. I was trying to <laughs> give a reference to a bad magician. So I heard I heard Christ Angel just so you what know. is he? What is he? Christ Angel? that's some good reaction that's good emoting that's good i want to have b-roll of all these laughs just in case there was any flops that that i can see (laughs) (laughs) what if i just cut so every joke that's the laugh (laughs) (laughs) All right. I think we did it. Episode 14. Uh, Zach Russell, everybody. Overshadowed pod. Um, we might be on it at some point. So just just like listen to that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen to that one episode and then get out of there. Back to this. All right. Good job. Thanks, everybody. Woo.